So, good afternoon, everybody. I am Davide Simonetto, and together, today, with my team, Fish to Fish, I would like to present you our project. But before going into deep, let's have a look at this. Sometimes images speak better than many explanation. We are in Minamata, Japan, a small seaside village, where a thousand people died for mercury polluted fish not controlled. Mercury is a substance both present in nature and created by human activities that goes inevitably into the water. From there, up the alimentary chain, from the small fish to the big fish to ourselves, increasing at every step the concentration above acceptable levels. But we want to go back to this idea of fish because we like it and we need it. Fish account for 20% of the human protein intake and contains various micro, micronutrients required for living. But in particular, a lot of people do not have an alternative to it. Also for this reason, over the last 50 years, the consumption of fish worldwide have doubled. And according to FAO, it is, accept, it is expected to grow by another 17% by 2025. And that's where we want to step in. Our 20-year vision is to enable sustainable production of pollutant-free seafood. The way we are going to do it is with a fish farming asset capable both of filtering pollutants and monitor them. But that's a big challenge. And in order to have an impact on people in the short term and make it real, we broke it down, focusing for, for, for the beginning on the second part. In collaboration with the University of Turin, we developed in those 20 weeks a smart and innovative solution for detecting mercury. And after getting in touch with clients and potential users, we understand we understood that the 20-month step is to extend those type of analysis to all metals that are harmful for humans. But let's see how it works. Simple, isn't it? Here it is. And it has a lot of competitive advantages compared to current technologies. First of all, it is faster. We move a time of our analysis from days to hours. So in the same period of time, you can analyze more fishes. Second, it is cheaper, 10 times less current technologies. Third, given that all the assets are inside the capsule and the user do not get in touch with them, anybody can use it. Last but not least, it is so compact to be portable. And all those characteristics together make possible to move currently conducted analysis in laboratories directly into the fish chain, into the whole fish chain, which in Italy it is estimated to be around 10.3 billion euros. And in Italy we want to start as first target because it's one of the most important of fish worldwide and its logistical convenience make it perfect for us to complete the development of the technology and the proof of concept. We believe that this is the perfect time to step in. Customers are getting more aware and interested about bio food and healthy food, which is pulling companies to increase standard levels. Fish farming is the answer to the overfishing we are experiencing, and it is expected to exceed wild fishing by 2021. Last but not least, a regulatory agreement named after the Minamata case we saw has been signed this year by more than 50 parties. This is going to make converge and increase controls. To make it real, we need an investment of 400 Ks, of which the first 100 is going to be used in the first six months to fully develop our technology and obtain a partnership with initial beta users. We know it's a challenging journey, both for us and our partners. But with this, we are going to make you arrive only the good fish on your table. Let us be the one that tell you which fish to fish. Thank you for your attention.